Hi everyone, I hope you're blessed. I'm just here to share a few words of encouragement that I received during my quiet time. Um, it's based on the book of Numbers chapter 13. And in this chapter, the Lord basically asked Moses to go and find 12 men, one leader from each tribe to go and spy in the land of Canaan. Now Moses did exactly what he was told. He found 12 men and their sole mission was to basically check in Canaan whether the people there were weak or strong, whether the land was rich or poor, whether the people were few or many, whether the cities they inhabited were like camps or strongholds. Um, they were also told to check whether the, there were forests there or not. And they were also told to bring back some of the land's fruit. Now this is their report when they came back. We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Now, as you know, we're in a period where uh, COVID-19 has spread um, across the country. There's a lot of news and coverage on it. And all, a lot of the news we're hearing is about, oh, this person is sick and that person is sick. And this person has now contracted the disease and stuff like that. And there's not enough beds and stuff like that. But I'm here to encourage you to be more like Caleb. Caleb chose to see... Rather than seeing the obstacles in their way, Caleb chose to, sit, to believe that God can give victory over the obstacles. Um, the children of Israel, on the other hand, they chose to basically see the obstacles and actually didn't want to end up going to the land that was originally promised to them. But Caleb chose to see otherwise and he said, let us go up once, at, let us go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. So I just want to encourage you as a believer to choose to magnify the fit God over the obstacles in our way. In this period is obviously COVID-19 and the UK is on lockdown uh, but I just want to encourage you not to be that even though we're in lockdown we should be locked in and being locked in is about being in tune with the father is ensuring that we're in position in the right place at the right time where our, our, our frequencies are tuned to the father that we are just removing all sorts of distractions and we're completely locked into what the father is telling us um, and the three, the, I, there's three components I would say are key um, to being locked in first one is obviously praying and that's the two-way communication with you and the father so if you're pra you're you're, pra you're speaking to the father he's listening he's hearing and he's speaking back to you it's important that you listen as well because that can be the instruction that can be the encouragement that can be the word that you need to encourage someone else another thing is quiet time you're reading as you're reading you will get to know more about the characteristics of god and the third thing is praising and when I think of praise, and I think of what um, Paul and Silas did, like Paul and Silas, when they was in jail, they praised. And what happened when they praised? There was a, the prison guard actually, and his family ended up getting saved. So three components, reading, praising, praying. Don't forget those in order to be locked in. One thing I also want to encourage us is that even though we're hearing all this negative news as a believer, like Caleb, we are to stand firm and speak positivity into it. So if we're hearing someone is sick, say, oh, but God heals. Don't let the story ends on sick, end on sick. Let the story end on, but God heals. And also in regards to if someone is saying that you're hearing that someone is fearful, say, but the Lord doesn't give a spirit of fear. He gives the power, love and sound mind. Let your story end on the things of God. Let your story end on the glorification of God. I'm encouraging you that as a light, we're supposed to stand firm and be bold and be courageous because the Lord is with us wherever we go. In order to be locked in, we've got to truly understand where God is in this position. And that if we understand where God is in this position, we shouldn't be fearful. Because at no point during this period has God lost control. At no point during this period is God not on the phone. And when you remember that, and, you, and when you remember that, you realise that, okay, that means God is allowing this to happen. Okay, Father, what do you expect me to do? What do you want me to do? Is it to intercede? Is it to, is it to intercede for certain people, a certain group of people? What is it? Do you expect me to be um, to, to spend time with knowing you more? Even during this period, I think that's an opportunity for all of us. You know, we're locked we're locked in lockdown, meaning we're not supposed to be out unless um, unless it's according to the rules that the government has said. <coughs> Excuse me. So if that's an, if that's the case, and if you're at home and you have a big family, that's an opportunity for families to spend time together. Likewise, as a believer, it's an opportunity for us to draw nearer to the Father. 
So if you're drawing near unto the Father, that's when you begin to know more. That's when you begin to, um, uh, and God begins to speak to you about more about your gifts, more about a word of encouragement that your friend needs, more about a word of encouragement that you need. You know, be locked in, be locked in, be locked in. Choose not to be distracted by the things of the world. Choose to battle the, the, the negative news with positive news. You know, we're not called to be ordinary. We're called to stand out. And if we're set, if we're set apart, that truly means that our language must be different. That truly means that what we say is in line with God. And if the words we say are in line with God, we have to also remember this key scripture where it says that everything that God, that God says doesn't return until it's fulfilled what it has been sent. Meaning none of the words that the Lord speaks return void. So if God has told you a word, always tap into that and remind God that God, you said this. What is it about what is it about this word that needs to take place right now? I just want to encourage you, be, be more like Caleb. Speak, be more like Caleb. Sometimes you've got to quiet the people. There's a lot of noise. It may be your friends, maybe your family. It could just be your it could be your colleagues. Quiet the people. At no point should your character have changed during this crisis. Because who you are before then, before this crisis is or epidemic is who you are now. So at no point should your have changed. So I want you to also be that light. Continue to be that light. Continue to speak the good news. Continue to fight the good fight. Continue to glorify God. Continue to testify. Continue to speak positivity and life into people. Our walk does our walk isn't on lockdown. Our walk isn't on lockdown, meaning it continues. So as a family, brethren, people, <laughs> just continue to be that light. And I pray that this word encourages you in Jesus' name. Amen.